go for it. Perfect. So thank you, Hannah, for giving me this space. And what I'm going to present is uh, what is Seven Vortex about. Seven Vortex is our company that is based in Belgium. And it is uh, the result of a live project in, in a family uh, in between Camille and myself. And we love to say that we are in the creative healing uh, process. So really using creativity and, and the healing intention uh, to, to regenerate the earth. And our vision, it is about finding harmony between ourselves and our habitat. So as you can see here is a, a whole family, but it's really where, where we live, we want to try to find this harmony. And we represent this new wave of, of uh, business, this new re uh, generation of business, which are regenerative business, but also technology. So everything that we have done, it's um, aligned with life and it is following uh, biomimicry life principles. So we really want to be aligned with the context that we're living in. And the tools that we have developed, they, they have its own story. So some of them, they've been developed uh, in 2009, then 2015, 2020, and 2021. So we believe that we need beautiful narratives. If we want to create change, then we need to be inspirational for positive actions. And I think this is, this is what it's all about. So in 2009, and I'm gonna be uh, one by one, do you see my screen now or? Yes. Okay. So in 2009, we started uh, our own NGO. And in this, in this process, we work into territorial development, impact evaluation, social marketing. And we have developed this tool that is about impact evaluation by following the, the rings uh, of the tree. So by doing this, we have a better approach in understanding the impact of the projects. And we have evaluated about 100 projects in Latin America, and we have worked uh, with about uh, 15 different indigenous cultures. So it has proved that by using this kind of visuals, we can better manage the risk and, and improve the communications in between different sectors, such as, let's say, finance and, and indigenous people, which usually uh, are not in the same place physically. So um, this, is, this is about the rings. Then about um, Seven Vortex, which is uh, more on the knowledge ecosystems. Do you see the, the screen again? Okay. Yeah. It is really an open creative source where everyone could put their narrative and there are many kinds of narratives. So uh, let's say, for example, this one that is a business plan, but it's more a systemic business plan. So it is being helpful for sustainability pioneers in general all over the world. And we have presence in 150 countries and 4, 000, around 4,500 cities all over the world. And, and everything is uh, mapped here. So users are diverse. But um, if you want to create something, then there is one bubble that it holds a, a knowledge unit. And from here, you can create like a kind of a mind map related to other things or to many things. And the biomimicry part here, of course, there is a whole process, but the, the deep pattern of biology is about the ecological relationships or interactions. So you can uh, tag the relationships as in biological relationships or ecological interdependencies. So there is this logic of for example, predation, where you take the energy and the other one is losing it or the other way around, or competition that is minus, 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 and we are both losing energy. So this is helping to change a narrative of a, a, into a more regenerative spectrum, which could be, for example, positive, positive. Then we will go to a Virtual Gaia, which is a broader perspective on the territory. So it gives you a micro scale and a macro scale. And it's a, um, a multi-layered approach with different voices from the, the same territory. So our use case, it is uh, really on this um, geodiversity, which is a Marmoni Valley Preserve. So by using your special technology, we can see the different kinds of territories, the land use of the territory and the properties. And by using the tools that we have developed over time, 
then you can see the rings, for example. And this is will be this could be a, um, a great way of evaluating the impact. For example, past, present, and future. It's a, you read it from circle to circle, just as the trees, as I said before. Governance used to be used to not to uh, recognize in Panama indigenous rights. Now we're recognizing it, and they want to be more regenerative, and they want to go towards. Uh, a thriving uh, governance uh, that recognizes everyone. Uh, using the vortex, we give we we gave the voice to the local NGO that is participating there, and this belongs to them, so they can switch it off whenever they want. And then, using the hive, which is also related to the last part of the tooling, um, we see how can we connect uh, a digital voice of the community. So, for example, I can put my name here. And then I can put the, the topics that I'm interested in. So let's say nature, uh, health, security. So in each of these ones, you can also, like it, it is meant to give the voice, for example, to the indigenous people, and they can put a picture or they can put a, um, uh, or they can take a, a photo, video, or just voice. So whenever they don't know how to write, it could be also part of their of their possibilities, and then we can. So this one, I'm gonna put security or something like this, and then we can also reconfigure the priorities. So by doing these kind of things, then we can uh, build a community sensing, which is let's say the the bigger spectrum on 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 this tool. So let me just go there and find this example. So we can see uh, potential interdependencies and, and collaboration opportunities. When we have many hives, then we can see clusterize the hive and bringing connections in between the answers or uh, the kind of people that is working or, or doing something specific. So. I know that this presentation is not exactly about the details of, of the of the hive, but those are the different kind of products that and and let's say the family, as you call them, of of, of tools that we have in Seven Vortex that we hope will bring the micro and macro perspective, the bottom up, top down approach that is needed to understand territory and all its living integrants. So we can we can create a thriving a thriving movement in re regeneration. So thank you for the opportunity.